Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Mugs. Mugs. Yes, I said mugs. I've done a mid. Blah, 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 blah. I have done a video on mugs before, but this one is going to. It's crazy. It's crazy. These mugs sold anywhere from $500 to $2,000. So if you are ever lucky enough to find one of these mugs, definitely, definitely, definitely grab it. Are you guys ready for this? All right, let's get started. Screen share. All right, we're gonna start with the first one here. And these are not all your typical coffee mugs. So um, they're just, there's mug in the title. So these are gonna be harder to find items, but you need to know about them in case you happen to run into them. I mean, if you'd never see a $500 mug or a $1,000 mug, then you're not gonna learn. So then you won't know if you do see it and you'll walk right past it. So here we go. This one is a small, rare, green town, holly amber creamer made from mug mold. So this is just a very like rare and unique different item. It's very, very pretty. Um, that's what it looks like guys. So I don't know about you, but if I would have saw this, at a thrift store or an estate sale, I, I'm i not sure I would have looked twice at it. Maybe I would have, but I wouldn't have thought that it was worth $687.99. Crazy. Um, let's see. There were, this sold February 20th, four bids. Um, so let's do this. I always wonder if people actually pay. So I'm gonna go into lots of luck for you. That's the store and feedback. Now I forget what it was called. Was it Greenwood? If we type in Greenwood, I love how you can search feedback now. Is it Greenwood? Now I can't remember. Shucks, sorry guys. Oh, green town. I knew I was wrong. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Green town. Here it is, guys. Oh, no. Um, but man, they sell a lot of green town. So I don't see that one. I wonder if it got paid for. But sometimes people just don't leave feedback also. But it looks like they sold one for 161, 182. Let's, let's see what it looks like. I'm just kind of getting off topic here. But again, Greentown. I want to see what the... Where does it say Greentown? Does it say it on the bottom? I don't see any markings. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't know how to know that it's Greentown. But if you see something that is Greentown, definitely grab it. <laughs> All right, the next item is this vintage Milwaukee Hiawatha Railroad China Cup mug. And it's Syracuse restaurant wear. This is what's on the bottom. This is amazing to me. I mean, how could somebody even think that this had any value? I mean, it's just a plain silly looking mug cup whatever and it went for 556 dollars with 22 bids 10 unique bidders and you guys can see that these people bidding have high feedback they started it at 29 dollars 99 that is amazing so when you see those mugs maybe look up what's on the bottom just in case because i would have walked past that one so tiki mugs, we all, well, I shouldn't say we all, but most people know that tiki mugs can range from bread and butter all the way up to big money items. So if you see a tiki mug and you can get it for a good price, I'd say you're pretty safe. Um, it's more than likely at least going to be a bread and butter item, but this one is a tiki rob. You saw right here on the bottom. This sold for $800 with 44 bids, crazy. The next item is this John Wayne collectible coffee mug. 
So uh, again, John Wayne can range also from bread and butter up to big money like this one sold for $900. Now there were only two bids. I'm trying to figure out what all this, it's like they, <laughs> that is so weird. This, so what they probably did is took like a screenshot of their photos, which I don't know why they didn't crop out the pictures at the bottom. It's kind of funny. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to, I wish I had more pictures because I want to know how they know it's a John Wayne. So I can't really. Hi. And the mighty maybe. Yeah, I don't know how to know it's a John Wayne, guys. Gladys from Duke. I guess maybe they just typed it in and looked it up. Not really sure. But it's the screenshot was taken September uh, 9th. So they waited quite a while to list it. All right, the next item is this Houston Ice and Brewing Company pre prohibition beer mug from um, Houston, Texas. Um, I'm going to try and get you a shot of the bottom here, but it's not really, can't really tell what it says. There it is up close. Again, you know, dating stuff like this. I'm not your person to teach you that. I have no clue other than just typing in what it says on the front. I would never look at this and think that it was super, super old, but um, it sold for $910 with seven bids in the buyer paid shipping. Okay, Starbucks mugs. Again, they go from bread and butter to big money. It just depends on the mug and how rare it is. Um, even some of the ones that are discontinued that are more recent can do well, but this one sold for $910 with 18 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So, uh, yeah, I hope they wrap that one good. That's from 2008 and it says Lisbon on it. The next item, vintage advertising cup mug. This one is jadeite. So it, it does also have the Masonic, um, symbol on it. This went for $980 with 27 bids. I want to see if the seller had any idea. They started this at $30. Can you imagine starting a listing at $30 and it going up to $980 for a mug? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Crazy awesome. All right, Death Wish. Um, Death Wish Coffee Harvester of Souls Golden Ticket 2017 Mug number and box. Okay. So these are numbered mugs and I'm trying to figure out what exactly these are because I've never heard of it until, and if I have seen it before, I don't remember, but it says Denon or D E N E E N pottery.com hand thrown in 2017. And this is number 3,247 out of 5,000. So there was only that many made and it says golden ticket. So if you guys ever see one of these golden ticket mugs, definitely get it because these go for thousands of dollars. I'm trying to see exactly what this ticket says. Limited edition mug release, Death Wish Coffee Company. So weird to me that, I mean, they must be just majorly, majorly collectible. And our best grandpa singing voice, you've got the golden ticket. Uh, let's see. Really, though, you were randomly selected to get your hands on one of the rarest mugs in the world. Congrats. Thank you and stay caffeinated. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. Only 20 made in this color. Golden ticket card included. So yeah, does anybody know anything about this? I, I guess I could have Googled it and maybe tried to look up exactly what this is all about, this special golden ticket. But this sold for $1,225 with 44 bids plus shipping. And again, I have seen bread and butter death, death wish mugs. So um, they're not all worth this crazy money. So just keep that in mind. Here's another John Wayne movie cast and crew gift. 
Um, it's a coffee mug. It says Wallace China autograph. So Wallace China, California, USA. It is definitely vintage. Um, that lighting's hard to see what it's like. Man, the pictures are not great at all. Okay, that one's better. Good luck, John Wayne. That's kind of cool. So that one makes sense. I can see why this went for so much if it's signed, autographed. And it's got a cool elephant on it. But that one sold for $1,126 with 25 bids. So if anybody is lucky enough to find one of those, oh my goodness. All right, this one's kind of cool. It's a rare antique Weller Dickens Ware art pottery mug. Um, Dunlavy, Dunlavy is the... Uh, I guess the the player. It's kind of fun. It's a cool looking mug. Six hundred ninety seven dollars and seventy six cents is what this sold for. I don't know what the mug beside it is. Okay, so Dickens Ware Weller. Looks like it says Weller also on the bottom. Weller Dickens Ware Weller. Yeah, so interesting. Um, Let's see. Your small family business. Let's see. I want to know more about the mug. I have searched through several sites of antique Dickens Ware Weller, and although I found many other examples of the 562 mug, none of them had incised decoration of the 19th century baseball player like the one in this auction. So it must be very, very rare. And they are definitely a seller. Okay, so this one's, uh, let's see what they started it at. I'm guessing they, 99 cents. Wow, wow, wow. Brave, brave, brave. Very cool. The next item is this Disney Pixar Tiki mug. It's a Toy Story 3. Only 500 were made, and this is number 410. So how cool is that? $1,953. Ah, five bids. Okay. This person only has 103 feedback. Oh my goodness. Mug was display only. Excellent condition. Extremely rare limited edition. Let's go in. Shipping $200. Wowza. Um, they started it at 1200. So let's see. Let's look at their feedback. I wonder if they paid. I always like to see if they paid. I won't do that on every video, but I, I want to look this one up. And again, that's not a true, you know, if they didn't leave feedback, it's not going to show up. Toy story. And some people won't leave feedback because they want to remain like anonymous. But who knows if that actually got paid for. But, uh, you know, I would have offered it up to the next highest bidder, you know. Did a second chance offer there. I know what we can do. Let's look in their store. Sellers, other items and see if it's listed again. We can just go to highest first. I don't see it. So they somebody bought it. So those are a few ways you can investigate if you want. I usually don't take the time to do that. Okay. So knives out Harlan Christopher Plummer screen mug pen and notebook. All right. I I'm I don't know. My house, my rules, my coffee. And the reason I'm showing you this one with the pen and the notebook, I'll show you here shortly. Harlan Little Black Book. I don't know what is special about this. This item is made of a pure ceramic white black measures. And it doesn't help me. So anyhow, this one sold for $695. I mean, it just looks like a boring regular mug. So I'm not really sure who this Christopher Plummer is. 
screen, used, mug, pen. Hmm. Anyway, here's the other one, which is why I pulled that one because this one is just the mug and it sold for $1,057.79. Now this one says, Knives Out, Marta Anna de Armas, screen used. What does that mean, screen? Does that mean like it was used in a, I don't know, let's see. Maybe this prop. So was it used in a movie? Oh, okay. So they must have been used in a movie. I don't know that movie. So Knives Out. So that makes sense. So again, that's probably not something we're going to find. But, you know, kind of a cool little side note, I guess. All right, the next item is, this is amazing. And this is Folk Art Blue Cat Mug Folk Art Pottery Sculpture. How crazy is that? That is so detailed. It sold for $1,225 with 34 bids. That's amazing. I wish they'd show the bottom. See if like the artist signed it or anything. Uh, crafted by Mitchell Grafton. Huh. Lift our glasses and drink in honor. Hmm. I don't know, but that that's really, really, that is talent right there. It's amazing. All right, let's look at the next one. The next item is this Skywalker Ranch George Lucas Star Trek Tiki Mug. Tiki Farm Mug, limited edition. It does not look like a mug. $1,527 with three bids. Again, I'm not sure I would have known that that would be worth that kind of money. The next item is this Chinese Export Silver Dragon Mug from 1885. How crazy is that? It says, I think that says I see maybe on the bottom. I mean, that is amazing. The dragon for the handle. I mean, that is really, really very, very detailed. Um, let's see. Chinese export silver dragon mug, handmade, 1885. Non-bid, no collection, please. I don't know what that means. Um... And this person only has 32 feedback. All right, let's look. Dragon. Nothing. So, who knows if they paid. Let's say, see other items. But this one sold for $1,825 with 50 bids. Let's see how many unique bidders. 19 unique bidders and the winning bidder had 13,352 feedback. So I'm guessing they probably paid and just didn't leave feedback. Again, a lot of people, if you don't put it on private listing, people want to remain anonymous and then they won't, they won't leave feedback. The next item is this Joan Crawford mug by artist Don Barkley, 1940s series, Hollywood caricature. Caricature, character. I can't say that word. It's like aluminum. I can't say it. Caricature. <laughs> anyway, that, uh, yeah, that's an interesting mug. I have to say. It doesn't really look like a mug. It looks like a plant holder. I'm wondering if it isn't a plant holder. I don't know. But any... Anyway, it sold for $1,925 with 14 bids. Um, oh, so this is, I think, the same artist as that cat. Maybe. Let me look. Where's the cat? Is that John? Nope. Maybe it's just, oh, I think it's the same person selling it. That's why it looked familiar, like their uh, description. 
All right, this Monkey Cup Super Limited Tiki Mug, 10 out of 10. Only 10 of these were made. And this is a 2019 mug. Van Tiki is what it says, 10 out of 10. How cool is that? I mean, it's not my style, but 10 out of 10 is pretty cool. Um, only 10 exist, handed down through generations. It's a 2019. Okay, I'm really confused. It, did that not say 2019? 2019. How could it be handed down for generations? All right, you guys, help me out on this. Only two monkey cups for a crown. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. You have crossed many miles of jungle to get here. I uh, I don't know, guys. I I don't know really what all that means. So if you guys know, comment below because I am definitely interested in understanding. Okay, so here's another Death Wish coffee mug and this is the highest sold. It sold for $2,052, 39 bids and it's a collectible ceramic mug. It must be 1,507 out of 5,000. It's got the golden ticket. It's got the box. I think it's got the box. Nope, mug only. I'm sorry, that looks like a box. Um, deep space mug. So yeah, just crazy what these go for. It's got a Facebook uh, link. So let's see what they started the auction at. 39, 39 bids, seven unique bidders. And the feedback, I mean, the people bidding seem to have decent feedback. Oh my goodness, look at this canceled. $12,890. People are so funny. That could have been a typo. All right, and this person only has 120 feedback. And no feedback was left. So what do you guys think? Is that crazy? Or is that crazy? $2,000 for a mug. I think not. I think not. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And go check out another Bolo video. This one, you know, is a little different. We're probably not going to find these items. But I, I was looking through for, um, I'm going to do a bread and butter mug video. So I saw some of these high dollar ones and I'm like, I've got to share it. I've just got to share it. This is just crazy. Oh my gosh, these mugs went for $500, $600, $700, up to $2,000. Amazing. All right, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.